Let's do this. How we're doing it, my friend. Game seven, Mr. T versus Mr. T. We got the crowd. They're all watching. Let's do this. Let's do this. Makeshift basketball hoop. Gonna hydrate. Whoa! You need your juice? I got your juice? You better hydrate. You better hydrate. Oh, this ain't fair. This game ain't fair. Yeah. This game is not fair. Oh, no. yeah. This game is not fair. Oh. Oh. You, got, oh, you did it. Oh. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Alright guys, so um <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So I've never flown a drone before. And I'm working on this promotion for Sharper Image. And they make a variety of products, um, especially electronics, and they also make drones. So I need to advertise this drone. And I, I was practicing in the living room and it just kept hitting the wall and I was like, okay. And then uh, today I tried it again and like I had it somewhat under control to where like when I hit the takeoff button, you know, it'll float up and it'll kind of like hover and it won't like haul ass in like the wrong direction. So I take it to the field and uh, I set up the camera and then the shot was to like throw it off of my hand and then have it float and I did that and it somewhat got it but the moment it jumped out of my hand it hauled ass it just took off left and I was like oh shoot there's this button called auto orientation with I guess like it like it, it makes sure that uh, when I hit the back joystick it'll come right back to me regardless of where I am because sometimes the drone will spin so northwest um, south and east is like it's it's constantly changing um, on the drone I guess like I guess the north like the head of the like like if you click forward it'll go forward depending on which way it's facing which way depending on which way forward is facing and if you click auto orientation back will automatically bring it back to me I will be that that point back wherever or however whichever way the drone is facing and I, I tried clicking that and it, it took off in the wrong direction and I couldn't stop it and I should have pressed emergency stop but it was like hovering the side of like going into the forest and or it's kind of like a forest it's like the river and but like I can't get into it because it's just covered with trees and bushes and there's no access um, through it and it just got farther and farther and it's gone so now I am making a Walmart run, but they don't have it. But they have this at Walmart, I think Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, but I have to submit this stuff next week. And I've been working on other promotions, so I didn't get a chance until now to do this. And now it's gone, so I'm like, I need to go to like another Walmart, which says they have it, which is about 20, 30 minutes away. So fingers crossed, but dang, this sucks. I just want to let you guys know on like what happens behind the scenes. It's not always glamorous. Like that one time I was doing the DKNY shoot, it was like cold. And then like the tequila hair doer shoot, it was like like 40 degrees outside. And I was freezing. And now, you know, I have to deal with stuff like this where I I just am a I'm a terrible drone pilot. 
first time, horrible. Loses the drone. So now I gotta go buy one. Struggle city, my friends. So, it looks like it's in a different section all the way with the toys. And this is it, guys. This glow drone. Lights up. Although the packaging looks a little different than the one I got. But guys, <laughs> I like scuffed up the logo when I was testing it in the house and I was like, oh man, how am I gonna shoot this? But we got it. There's two left. Oh wow, there's more. What matters is I don't lose this one and I shoot it right. breakfast time for the 4th of July and we're in the sun it's a great spot but I don't think they really thought about the fact that everyone's gonna cook in the sun thinking about just holding up an umbrella <laughs> What's up, dude? Hi, I'm a ninja. A ninja? going to do you want to tell them where we're going or no we're gonna go see steve aoki yeah we're super stoked so we got a hotel and we're gonna hurry and eat and then go check into the hotel um the doors opened at five and it's already almost seven so there's that but he doesn't come on till eight or more like eight thirty nine. Mm, that's what he says but okay i hate being late plus eat You gotta bring the chocolate shake, guys. <clears throat> oh, thank you, honey. Woo! Woo! Because I couldn't finish, because I'm a slow eater.
concert's over. It's pretty quick. Concert's over. I feel like Steve Aoki was a little disappointed because the sound kept going yeah. out. When he exited, he said, all he said was, all right, I'm Steve. Thank you. He even said it was like his final song, so. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> so when I, I came out, it was over. You know there's a restaurant called Nacho Daddy that looks so good? Get it? Nacho Daddy? That's how we're doing it after Steve Aoki. Some nachos with steak. And what is this? Pulled pork? I think it's also beef. Not enough salsa. But it's alright. It's alright. The morning. I still feel tired. Time to get coffee. Gotta go get coffee and also go to work. <laughs> trying a local coffee shop. Never tried it before. Super excited. Always fun trying new coffee shops. Mm -hmm. So, Yelp says they're open. Let's get it. Guys, if you know me, chocolate chip cookies, it's one of the keys, it's one of the ways to my heart. <laughs>